What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So I did not plan on doing another Scream 7 video here today, but we got a confirmation courtesy of Big Screen Leaks through One Take News that Christopher Landon is indeed attached to Direct Scream 7. That is the tentative secured plan before everything was put on pause with the SAG strike and the WGA strike. So Landon signed on prior to that, and I'll be sharing some details on Radio Silence, of, unfortunately. Well, some of you might be excited being out of the project. Christopher Landon is an exciting replacement. Definitely very intriguing. And I'll be sharing some more reminders about for you guys on the other rumors I've heard as it pertains to what's disclosed in this article from Run Take News. So as I just stated in my last video and as I stated in my video on Sunday, I had heard Chris Landon was in talks to direct Scream 7. I heard that months ago and I just kept it close to my chest for quite some time. I know Craven Something Scary had been told that Radio Silence would not be directing Scream 7. They did a video on Sunday and then I did a video responding to that video, shouting them out because they did a great job with their video giving you guys the insight I had on the Chris Landon scenario. I just knew that he had been asked to direct. I didn't know that he signed on prior to the strike. So that was a bombshell for me to now learn right now. So Scream 7 we know is in the works and has been for a very long time according to this article. Well, many of us already assume that. Sources confirmed to One Take News that however, due to scheduling conflicts, Radio Silence will not be returning for this installment. Sources tell us after putting their Universal Monster movie previously titled Dracula's Daughter on the back burner to make Scream 6, they didn't want to put it on the back burner again, which is understandable because they don't have to. Again, keep in mind, Scream 5 was never supposed to start a trilogy. They don't want to put that on the back burner anymore, so they're going to focus on Scream or they're going to focus on the Dracula's Daughter movie and let someone else handle Scream 7. They didn't want to put it on the back burner again and thus missing out on making Scream 7, which Paramount wants out as soon as possible. You might be asking yourself, who is directing? We have the answer for you. Contrary to the reports from our friends at Bloody Disgusting saying that Landon is currently in talks, One Take News has independently confirmed that Christopher Landon signed on to direct Scream 7 prior to the WGA WGA and SAG after strikes. Sources also mentioned that it's unknown if any of the cast members from Six signed on prior to the strike, but they all have expressed interest in returning. Josh Segura and Melissa Barrera are the only two I can think of who are out who have actually stated they wanted to return in interviews. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding or forgetting some other stars that have done this. They go on to say we're also told no new castings have been made. So here's what I have to say here. Keep in mind, what I also stated with the rumors that I have is that allegedly all of the cast will be back. Well, not that all of the cast. I should, I'll should. i use the specific words I was told. The specific wording was that everyone is back except Radio Silence. That was what I was more recently told. It's like a double confirmation to me, forcing me to believe even more that Radio Silence isn't out or isn't going to be directing Scream 7. Now One Take News was able to confirm it. If you know big screen leaks and One Take News, you know they have a much more better reputable track record than little old me. So with that in mind, the other rumors that I had addressed regarding the everyone is that when I had asked for clarity on who this everyone is, that everyone does not currently include Nev Campbell, although Nev Campbell still very much so could be a part of Scream 7. It does not also mean that because Nev Campbell didn't return that they did not want her back. The producers have quite literally stated that the door is always open, but you cannot force people to do projects. You, you, you just simply can't. The other bit of the cast rumors in terms of who this everyone is, is that that includes Hayden Panettiere, Jasmine Brown, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Mason Gooding, Courtney Cox, Josh Shigera. So all of the survivors from Scream 6 are a part of that everyone that allegedly will be back for Scream 7. Hayden Pantier, Kirby Reed coming back for more. That is the thing that, of course, I'm the most excited about. I know a lot of you are excited about it, too. I'm very curious to see how they enter, how they would work her into the story if this ends up being true. The thing about it, though, is I still also did not think that Kirby coming back would be necessary. So if she actually doesn't end up signing on due to everything in the in the middle of this acting as hurdles right now with the strikes, I won't be mad that we don't have Kirby again. We got the one and done return that I know Kevin Williamson kind of always wanted, or at least it seemed he wanted that from how he left her fate open uh, after Kevin had initially killed her in his screenplay. So in that regard, I just want to talk about Sydney real quick. Nev Campbell not returning, I would be okay with it. The reason I would be okay with it is because again, I basically have everything I have ever wanted for that character as it pertains to how she was first introduced to us to where she is now. She has everything that her mother had stolen from her. She's hopefully at peace with who her mother was. 
She is a devoted wife, a devoted mother. She went back and got involved in another spree because it involved a man that would have done anything to ensure that she has what she has now. As I stated in a tweet of mine a few weeks ago, she has peace. I don't need to see Sydney Prescott explored any further. I don't necessarily need to see her peace challenged. I just think that if you were to bring her back, challenging her peace will be the next most appropriate thing to do. But Nev Campbell not returning for whatever reason it may be, if that's what we end up having to deal with for Scream 7 again, then so be it. It is what it is. I mostly am concerned and I hope these writers, because the writers are also part of that everyone who is back, the writers apparently are not different. The writers, I hope, are focusing on delivering what they think is best in terms of finishing the story for the Carpenters, not doing a lot of fan service that they really aren't too passionate about. Uh, I've heard some other things regarding Stu Mocker. I'm just not going to share that right now because I've been asked to sit on that for a little bit longer, but I'll share that when I can. But again, I put out a tweet earlier. Don't get too excited about that because his ass is still with the maggots. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited about Christopher Landon being attached to Scream 7? Scream 7, why or why not? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.